Okay, so we are going to to create and deploy an application from scratch in five minutes. Deploy means online, live, for all the world to see. First off, we write a requirements.txt. Well, we create a repository. Of course, you need a Git repository for everything. Then we write a requirements.txt file with Flask and PyMongo. Then we open our app actual application uh, Python file and create a little bit of a hello world uh, uh, function thingy, and then we commit it. Well, we actually have to tell Heroku, which we're going to use, how to run our application. So we write a little proc file, and we just tell it to run our application. That should be enough. And then we commit all this. We then create an application in Heroku. And uh, wait for it. And then we push the application to Heroku. And well, you know, back in my days, when I had to publish an application in the cloud, I had to actually buy a machine, put it in the trunk of my car, drive all the way to the cloud, which back then was called a data center, and plug it in and hope nobody invaded it and had to place a demand for it to it for the rest of uh, my life. Um, by the way, there's nothing on these leaves here. If you repeat the same commands on your machine, you can achieve the same results. We haven't prepared anything beforehand except the little keyboard macros you saw. So Heroku, it uh, detects whatever it is it finds there. It sees that it's a requirements.txt, detects it as a Python project, installs all the packages I, we asked it to install uh, into a virtual env, and um, we wait. Oh, by the way, back then, when I had to drive the, the, the computer to the cloud, uh, the PHP developers were mocking me, oh, I have hosting for $9 a month. H what do you have? Oh, I have to drive my own machine to the cloud. So anyway, we, we push it, and then Eroku runs it, and then we can access this URL. It's still launching. Yep. And we wait for it. Wait for it. And then you have Hello World. But Hello World is too simple an application, and we still have time. We still about, yeah, and we have still half our time left. So we are going to do a microblog. So, you know, so for a microblog, we have to write a template, right? And you have an input method over there, and uh, uh, a loop for all our messages that we have already wrote. And we also need to store it somewhere. So we put in some uh, views for getting and posting it, and um, we commit, and um, we commit, and then we push it to Heroku. No, 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 no. We have to, uh, of course, we, we asked for a MongoDB uh, storage, so we have to ask Heroku to give us a MongoDB storage, which is what we're doing now. And then after we have the storage, we can push the the, our code uh, to the Hero, to Heroku, and it will compile. So now I, I have get a little bit of time to explain the two views we added here. So we have um, a get view, which just renders the template with uh, the message we found in the database, and a post view, which po po inserts the, mes the new messages into Mongo. And we wait for the deploy. Um, And uh, then we reload the web page. We wait for it. Wait for it. And voila, we have an input there. We type some stuff on it, and uh, and it gets published. <laughs> well, anyway, you 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 can. Go to this URL, pybeer2013.herokuapp.com on your computers right now and start typing stuff on it. And <laughs> so anyway, go ahead, and we have about half a minute left. You can stop, go and start messages in there if you want. <laughs> so yeah.
<laughs> so anyway, uh, in the Heroku dashboard, we can see that we can scale our application to as many instances as we want and pay uh, for each as much as we want. And there is a uh, Mongo Labs add-on there, and we are hiring. So if you want to work on cool stuff, come talk to us or email jobs at geeky.com.br. Have you deployed your application today? <laughs>